All right, welcome to the fans. We have a prime time matchup, a little Tuesday night football between your leader, Anthony Paisan, and a boy Lenny. Anthony Paisan is 52 and 0 lifetime against Lenny. We got three randoms coming up, starting on the same team, make it even. We're going to see who these two boys are going to be playing with here tonight. Lenny, do you want to do two randoms and a suicide? Do you want to do three randoms? Do you pick any of the three? Two randoms and a suicide. Two randoms and a suicide. All right. I got my finger on the left trigger. So on the count of when I say, on the count of three. Well, by, by the way, show the fans your face, Lenny. Show them your handsome. Show them your handsome. Mom. Oh, we right here, baby. We right here. Mitchie's got to watch the game. Carson just got in front of the laptop, not moved the laptop. Can you still see that, Mitchie? You can see it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, click. Oh, we got the tits. I like it. All right. Let's do the second one. Three, two, one, click. And Ooh. the skins. Look at the you want skins. Want to do a suicide? Two randoms? Who are you going to be? Who are you going to be, huh? We'll do Falcons. I'll be the tits then. We'll be the tits. Yeah, you, you're such a fucking prick. Yeah, am I going to be the freaking, uh, I don't even know who I just got from the last time, but. You want to pick our own That's team? Washington football team. Yeah. Yeah, nope, we're being the tits. And you can't play with them because that's disrespectful. Exactly. They're, also, they're still by their, their former name, which we don't like. It's a racial slur. Yeah. And the all-important jerseys, folks. Very important. Wow, light blue for the Titans. Yep. Wow. How much money are you putting on this, Lenny? Uh, do you want to do three bucks? I'll do 350 Three bucks. 350 that's a fair fucking price. Ladies and gentlemen, $3.50. Fifty cents on. This I'm not game. hitting this X button until we agree on a price. Three right, fifty. Three fifty. You fuck. Three fifty. Three fifty, baby. Let's go. Big money. Big money. Big money. I gotta tell you what, know. Mitchie, You know they always say the art of war: never underestimate your opponent. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, Mitchie, is it uh, is it backwards for you? I think it's backwards. But no, it's I'm not. Sure it's, pretty it's, sure it's, it's, no, like, it's, can, it's can you read what that says over there, or no? Claim your, your crown. Okay. Just a... All right, we got a forward-facing game here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, between the Atlanta Falcons and the Tennessee Titans. Falcons coming into this game favored by 17 and a half, purely based off of who is at the controls. We got Anthony Paisan heading up the Atlanta squad and our boy Lenny. Or what was the uh, what's the over under here? Can I interrupt him like that, you douchebag? Yeah, I, I, I don't know what the over under is. The over under is 45 and a half. Young Huey Ku will let this one go for Atlanta to get it underway. And what's the spread? Jesus Christ, Lenny. 17 and a half. Atlanta is favored. All right, so 45 and 17. Wow, I'm sitting really Tennessee close. on the return out to the 30, and that's where Ryan Tannehill will take over. What's Pack, packed house. In Tennessee, down in Nashville, they do not abide by the COVID-19 protocols. They don't give a shit. It's football. It's the NFL. Opening drive for Tannehill. I backfield. Falcons will shift the defensive line in. Man in motion. Hand off to Henry right up the gut. Jukes for no reason, and then he gets taken down after a gain of about eight. Second and By the way, bitch, you could have run that play fucking 15 times that game. I promise you, it's the dumbest play in his fucking playbook. And, folks, we have both coaches mic'd up here this afternoon. And Anthony Paisan thinks he has Lenny figured out already, although it was an eight-yard gain to start. Similar formation, man in motion again. Fake handoff. Tannehill will roll to the left, sets up, slings it over the middle. It's caught for a first down, down to the 42. Who was that with the reception? Help me out here, fellas. Couldn't see. Uh, Blazen. Hey, Blazen game. Blazen game. Okay, I thought I was reading that incorrectly. Never heard of the fella. First down for Tennessee. Blazen game also returned the kick because I didn't know his name on that play either. Probably the fullback. Oh, come on. Blast. And off. It's going oh, to my God. Eon Lewis blasts from the pass. Lewis gets rocked after Absolutely. a gain of about – they'll give him one. Two. Second and give nine. Two. No, they'll give him two, second and eight. Beg your pardon. Ball at the Atlanta 40. Tannehill will throw here on second and eight. A whole day. Hasn't moved. Slings it deep toward the end. Oh, come on. Is incomplete. Lenny almost threw 
another interception in the end zone, but it's batted to the ground. It'll be third and eight. It's a patented Anthony pick, by the way. Curious decision from Tannehill as he had all day in a wide open lane up the middle to run there, but he decided to heave it 45 yards incomplete. Third and eight. Tannehill from the gun again. He'll throw again. Throw over the middle. Give me that! Fires. Intercepted. It's picked off by Atlanta and coming the other way across. Oh, not quite to midfield. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Another turnover for Lenny. Anthony Paisan picks him off on third down and eight. The Titans had the ball rolling, but the turnover bug gets Lenny once again. Now Matt Ryan will take over with good field position at the 45. Watch this shit. Mitchie, get a load of this. Ryan will throw. He's going to roll to his right. He's going to run. Plenty of room. 45 to Tennessee territory. Slides down and he's popped at the 37. Surprised there's no flag coming in. I wish we could check in with Mike Pereira to see if he thought that that was unnecessary roughness. We don't have that. Under center now for Ryan on first and 10. Hands off. Freeman off left tackle. Picks up about nine for Atlanta. And they are on the move. Already in young Huey Ku territory. We know Anthony Paisan doesn't like to kick field goals. He wants to go for the throat and score touchdowns. Second and one. Ryan under center again. Defense blitz now blitz. on the teals. He's blitzing. This is a hard blitz. Dumb. Here's a toss to Freeman. He's trying to get to the outside, but he's brought down short of the first down. That's Logan Ryan on the tackle. Nice play by Lenny on defense. We'll see if this last it's third and two the falcons in my opinion have them right where they run they were right where they want them talking a little bit too much slurring over the words i'm lenny mitchy oh, right up the gut freeman is stuffed again i don't know if he got it he didn't fourth and short right back up to the line goes ryan fourth and inches we'll see if they're trying to draw him off sides or they're going to go for it Freeman is the lone setback. Takes the snap, gives to Freeman, and he uh, picks up the first down. Oh, come on. You what wish. In the world? Three straight runs to Devontae Freeman to pick up one yard. That hurts if you're Lenny. That's a gut punch. <laughs> so Ryan, not- back to the gun. We'll see if they go for a shot to the end zone here. Oh, Go counter! Freeman got plenty of room. First down and more dragging tacklers for the Titans down to the 17. They are in the red zone. I live for this shit. I live for this shit. This Falcons team has not been great this year, but when you have a coaching matchup such as this one, they have an advantage. Takes the stat. Ryan, time, throws, completes. That's a first down and more down to the five-yard line. It'll be first and goal for Atlanta. (laughs) Well, that was his first passing play. That was, his first, that was my first passing play. One for one. My well, technically, they did line up to throw, but Matt Ryan had lots of room to run. He scrambled, so that's the second attempt at a pass. That was so cool. And Lenny has jumped offside. What? <laughs> Fucking that's- idiot. Hey, by the way, uh, Anthony, I, I, see, I see you looking at my screen every now and again. No, I, so, I haven't looked at your screen yet. I looking. just saw you do it. I just saw you do it. That's why I said I'm that's why I kept in the R2 to not show you my play no more. Watch this, though. Oh, Freeman, up the gut, touchdown. You're welcome for those five yards, you cheater. What do you think? You gave me two yards because you jumped off sides. Yeah, I'm, welcome. I'm saying you're welcome for those five yards when I saw you looking at my plays. I did some it. Based on the size of that hole, it could have been first and goal from the 25, and I think Freeman would have run it in. The extra point is up. It What's is that? Good. It might be another offside. No, it's a roughing the kicker. This Tennessee team under Lenny Jets, undisciplined early on. 7 nothing Atlanta. Let's go, baby. Go another for- kickoff. You're such a coward. Titans. We'll let it bounce into the end zone and take the touchback. And for some odd reason, Madden is showing us the replay of the kickoff that resulted in a touchback. Why don't you throw me another pick, you dude? Anna Hill out of the pistol set. He has Henry right behind him. They'll yeah. give it to Henry, and he's popped in the hole for a loss of one before he can get anywhere. Derrick Henry is tough to tackle, but when nobody blocks and there's Horrible play designs that repeat themselves. It's easy for the defense to figure out what's coming next. Second and 11. 
That's play and action. It it's, going to him. it's going there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why is it incomplete? For some reason, Tannehill insists on standing in the pocket with nobody near him and firing it into double and sometimes triple coverage. It's third down 11. Did Tennessee you know? is on the ropes. Tannehill will throw again, all day again. Fires it deep down the left the side. Ball? Of the front, <laughs> but he's hit at home. I so don't dumb. think he's in. He was not. Incomplete pass. It's fourth and 11. you got to be kidding me. Dude. Oh, and the ball got jarred loose t- two there, so it's for sure fourth and 11. Lenny will punt. What are the that's fucking – that's a, that's a fair play. Yeah, okay. And he lets this one go. Here comes the return for Atlanta. Nice move inside and running up the left sideline to about the 40. <laughs> Good field position again for Matt Ryan. And folks at home that had seven, my, the Atlanta minus 17 and a half are feeling good. This looks like an avalanche waiting to happen. Marching. I beg your pardon, the ball's at the 45. Ryan from the gun. Uh-oh. He'll throw. Fires out to the right side complete. Gain of about two to the tight end Hooper. Or oh, is it? Yeah, I think Austin it's Hooper. Hooper. There. Yeah. Second and seven now, empty backfield for Ryan. Takes the snap, drops to throw. Pressure is coming, trying to get away from it, and he completes it, but a short gain on the play right around the line of scrimmage. Maybe pick up a couple. Looks like it'll be third and six. Third and four. Third and four. It, that, it's really difficult to, to see it here, fellas. Doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Ryan out of the gun, third and four. They got the Titans right where they want him. Drops, throws, quick out route. That's caught by Jones. He's going to be brought down, it looks like, just short of the first down. But if I know anything about Anthony Paisani, won't be soft. Like Lenny, he'll probably go for it here. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll see. Is he going to try to pin the Titans deep? Maybe I, uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. All right, he might be just trying to draw him off sides here, but he went for it last time on fourth and inches. Quarterback sneak, Matt Ryan surges forward, gain of three, first down for Atlanta. Everything is going well for the Falcons here in the first quarter. <laughs> Look at that truck, I trucked him. <laughs> Matt Ryan showing he's still got a little bit left in the tank with the forearm shivered at the chest of a linebacker. Handoff to Freeman breaking tackles and falling forward <laughs> for the first down inside the 30 for the Falcons. This Titans defense has been solid all season. It looks putrid so far through just a couple of minutes of action. Balls at the 27, first and 10 for Atlanta. Ryan under center has Jones in the slot to the left, takes the snap, he drops, Looks to throw, has time, slings it off to Devontae Freeman, who will get inside the 25 to the 23. A solid gain for Atlanta of about five. It looks like second and five, maybe second and six. Help me out there, fellas. Take that all day, boys. That's a second and six, baby. Second and six. Quick four on first down. Empty backfield again for Ryan. I'm watching. Five receiver set. Defense is shifting at the line before the play. I'm sure that's a mistake. Drops to throw. Fires yeah. wide open. It's caught by Hooper. He's popped at the two-yard line. First and goal for Atlanta right there. We're reading like a fucking book, Mitchie. I don't know what Tennessee did when they shifted, but it resulted in Austin Hooper streaking down the field wide open. High <laughs> backfield on first and goal from the two. A fake oh! pullback oh! oh! Freeman. He walks in. He was so oh, dumb. Oh, my God. Um, Dumb, dumb, dumb. Oh, you want to hear something funny, boys? I, that wasn't even the I thought that was a fullback dive. That play never works. Hey, and for the fans at home, you have seen the posts. You followed along. You didn't know if it was true. And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, all we can say, two words for Anthony Paisan's play so far, as advertised. And young, young Wei Ku will kick another extra point. He knocks it through. And the Tennessee Titans are staring down a two-touchdown deficit early on in this one. And fuck this, Mitchie. It's not going to get any better from here. Lenny fucking stinks. 
Anthony very confident, and with a 52-0 and zero record, he has no reason not to be. This is the first live action, though, so I'm sure a little bit of jitters early on. We'll ask him about that in the halftime. Uh, oh, watch this. Watch this. Oh, look, at, look, get a load of this. Get a load of that. Get a load of that. Man, it is the dumbest even... game I've ever played. He, <laughs> so he keeps the kickoff in bounds. Raymond inexplicably dives on it at the five-yard line and falls out of bounds. So oh. Oh. At the very least, you think Raymond would try to carefully scoop it up. I beg your pardon. That ball is at the two. Under center for Tannehill. They oh, get the Real creative. Popped at the four-yard line, but he does get the Titans a little bit further from the shadow of their own end zone at the four-yard line. It's second down. Tough spot for Ryan Tannehill to be with this offense, down by two touchdowns. They'll go under center. Henry is the lone setback again. He shows his play to the defense prior to the play, drops the throw, throws it quickly to his tight end, who uh. fights forward across the 10 to about, looks like they'll give him the 11-yard line and a doable third down. Tennessee with an opportunity to get the drive going. We'll see what Lenny draws up here. Third and three. Tannehill showing his play to the defense yet again. Now he's barking out some signals, drops the throw, quick throw, caught first down across the 20 to the 21 yard line. By the way, he's going to do this for the rest of the fucking game. It's just going to be stupid dink and dunk plays. Watch That's it. Corey Davis, his first catch of the There's a halfback game. toss to the right. There's a halfback toss to the right. Read him like a book. Anthony thinks he's got to. Yeah, he just changed it. He just changed it. <laughs> Calls out his play and a quick audible from Tannehill. Fakes the handoff, rolls to the left, sets up, looks. He's going to use his legs. He's got room for the 25. He slides to the 27. Wise play by Lenny, reading the defense, taking what the defense gives to him. He picks up, it looks like, I beg your pardon, five there on first down, second and five. There's a run. Yeah. Up the, uh, line up the in. Here's a reverse run, and they're going to pick up the first down. A juke inside leads to getting absolutely destroyed by Deontay Jones. Two-minute warning, baby. Nice run for the first down. Tennessee getting a little bit of a drive going, but they got to move quickly. We will see how Lenny operates in a time management situation. History suggests he won't do well. Drops to throw from the gun. No, no sure that. Finally That's swallowed so up stupid. as Tannehill stepped up in the pocket. Claiborne gets him. They'll call that a sack. It ends up being a loss of one. No pressure coming from the Falcons. The only way they could sack him is what Lenny allowed them to do, which was stepping up right into the pressure. <laughs> Lenny, how would you describe the play so far? Uh, would you say? <laughs> been great. <laughs> it's been great. Down 14 nothing. Drops to throw. Second and 11. Give me it. Give me it. Sideline. It's intercepted again. And running up the right sideline is Atlanta. Oh, he big hit it. He tried to big hit it. Touchdown, Atlanta. 20 to nothing. And he's trying to big hit me with Tannehill. Fucking idiot. Sheffield with the interception on a curious throw from Tannehill. He runs all the way up the sideline. It looked like Tannehill had an angle at him. But he decided to lunge at nobody. Sheffield walks in untouched, 20 to nothing Falcons. Cool, we'll tack on the extra point here. It's 21 nothing. Great job, Lenny. It looked like worst case scenario, Tennessee would get stopped and it would at least be 14 to nothing going into the half. A pick six proves otherwise 21 nothing. Let's see if young play Koo tries to do whatever he did on that last kickoff. And we'll see if I got it with me. <clears throat> no, and it looks know. like the same strategy, but this time it'll be caught by Blazon Game, who's running now across the 30, the 35, and he's finally brought down at the 37 yard line. I should have put more this juice Tennessee on. offense will get another crack down 21 to nothing, already covering a historically big spread. What was the spread, 17? 17 and a half. So that 45 and a half for the over-under is not looking good right now. Atlanta is scoring every time you blink. Now what Atlanta a Hill, a draw play inside to Deion Lewis across the 40. He'll pick up a few. Not good <coughs> Tennessee's strategy on that one. Hurry up. 
back to the line quickly. Tannehill from the gun, fakes uh, the handoff, rolls to the why left. Why would he run back at the 37? I'm so stupid. Another timeout, He's this not. time from Atlanta, playing very aggressive with a 21 nothing lead. Third mm-hmm. and 11, and Lenny has to have this one. Tannehill from the gun. Throw it to him, throw it again. Right, over the middle, caught, but it's short of the first down by Corey Davis. <clears throat> oh, I'm fucking begging you. I, oh my. And the goodness. Tennessee Titans are going to go for it. I don't know if they have a choice with the way that Atlanta's offense has looked as early as it is in this game. It's fourth and four, balls of the 44 yard line. What are you doing? Okay. Something Hill something has two wrong. receivers on either side of the formation, takes the snap. Looks to throw, sets, it out. fires it over the middle, and it's intercepted again. This time it is Claiborne. He's brought down at the 49, where Atlanta will take over with an opportunity to make this a four touchdown game before the half. Mitchie, did you see that user lurk, by the way? The user lurk. Let's go. Ryan will go from the shotgun. Freeman to the right of him in the gun. Still over a minute left in this one for Atlanta. He takes the snap, drops, looks. He's going to roll to his right now, looking to throw. He will sling it complete for a first down to Hooper for a gain of about 14 before he's dragged out of bounds. <laughs> and everything is working for Anthony Paisan and the Atlanta Falcons. 30 birds, baby. Oh, Great job, him. by Yo, look, I'm not looking at his plays. Look at him being a fucking – he's changing his fucking – he's trying to get the strips. And now I'm going to oh, break eight Lenny changing the sliders right now, trying to see if he can. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee he doesn't even know what defense he just called, by the way. Well, he's in a zone. He just showed it to the Falcons pre-snap. <laughs> First and 10 for Ryan. A veteran quarterback like that is going to pick up on those things. He's going to roll to his right again. Sets up all day, wide open, over the middle of Tulio Jones to the 10 and down to the five-yard line. Another goal-to-go situation for Atlanta. And they are back at the line of a, in the blink of an eye. I mean, Matt Ryan's already up there. He's throwing it again. He's going to roll to the right, looking, firing, caught. No, it's dropped, incomplete. Probably better for Atlanta there. It was going to be a loss of about one or two for Hooper. Couldn't hang on. Second and goal, plenty of time for Matt Ryan and company. Matt Ryan went down awkwardly there. He got hit hard. Somehow still standing. Second goal. Out of the gun again. Barking out some signals to his receivers on the left side of the formation there, trying to trick Lenny up. Easy to do. Takes the snap. Looks. Oh, boy. Fires it. It is incomplete. Fuck. He had a man there, but it was caught out of bounds. And it's going to be third and goal for Atlanta. Possibly could bring a little bit of life to this Tennessee team if they can end the half on a goal line stand. Ball at the five. We'll see what Lenny has in him. Ryan from the shotgun once again. Come on, baby. Taking his sweet time. Wide open. Drops the throw. Looks. Fires. End zone. Caught. And that's another Atlanta Falcons touchdown. It's 27 to nothing. Anthony Paisan looks at the camera as if to say, what are you going to do? That's Gage for the touchdown. Four score lead for Atlanta. Right now he's on Snapchat. He's just he's disengaged. I'm just – this is – I do have some uh, – you know, some breaking news here in terms of the betting lines, ladies Another and play. gentlemen. Another the play. over-under is now bumped up. If you want to get it live, it's 72 and a half, and the Falcons are <laughs> favored by 64 and a half. <laughs> Take the under. All right, let's go ahead and do this, see if this fucking works. This 14 works. seconds to go, and you know Paisano is still trying to scheme on how he can get more points on the board <laughs> before the end of this half. This is caught by Blazing Game. He runs full speed ahead and gets to about the 28-yard line. Tannehill will take over from there. If I were the Titans here, I would just take a knee and put our heads down. What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing over there? What are you changing? I'm curious about what I'm doing. You know what he's going to do? I, I, I don't think it's going to happen, but there's been at least 50 scenarios like this where he throws me a pick and I get a field goal with two seconds. I hope he just, just – 
Just wait. No, this is like a Hail Mary. He's going to fucking throw it up. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Tannehill bro. will go from the gun. Dangerous sight for Titans fans based yeah. on what's happened so far. This guy is a... Already three interceptions. Drops yeah, it deep. What a shocker. Looks, looks, fires it deep down the left side. It is incomplete. He was looking for Corey Davis. Oh, great throw. That and way. now four seconds to go. Tennessee with a measly <coughs> 73 yards to pick up. How bad is this guy? So you're going to take a knee? I got four <laughs> seconds. Not really much happening here, dude. Don't fucking spike it. What are you doing? Oh, a fake yeah. spike. Holy a shit. fake spike from Tannehill. He sets up. He slings it deep. Looking for Davis. Oh, and come on. Incomplete. <laughs> what a wild end of the half. A fake spike. Out of a huddle. They didn't even do a no huddle and fake spike it. The clock wasn't running, and they still decided to try to trip up. Onside kick. Watch this. Oh, I fucked it up. An onside kick to oh, open oh. the second <laughs> half. <laughs> <laughs> You're kicking there. <laughs> kick it out of bounds. Oh, my goodness gracious. Kick it out of bounds. Atlanta baited them. They said, try to get it. They gave him the 10 yard line, oh. kicked out of bounds, and it goes back to Atlanta. Here's Ryan. Knowing Paisan, they will continue to be in attack mode here, even with the 28 0 lead. The Falcons should be with a 28 point lead, still in attack mode. Handoff, Freeman off the right tackle. He loses a couple there. Okay, nice play. Nice play by Lenny. I will give him that loss of four. Good penetration there. Look for Atlanta to throw for a first down here on second and 14. Ryan will go under center. Ball's at midfield. Drops a throw. Oh. Made a throw. He throws across the middle. Dangerous pass, but it is caught by Gage. He's brought down for gain of about two. It'll be third and 12 now. Titans looking for any semblance of life in the form of a turnover, a defensive stop. It's third and 12. Ryan drops the throw, looks, fires. It oh, is caught out of bounds by Julio Jones. Couldn't get the feet in there. Who's it's third and 12. We'll see what Paisan decides to do here. And he would punt it away. I'll give him a chance. I'll give him a chance. Let's see if the old, old Bosher. Uh, it's going to the end zone. And the punt will go deep into the end zone. Touchback for Tennessee. Mm. This is Lenny's chance to get a little momentum going. You, so we did, you want to have any halftime? Uh, we didn't do a halftime interview. Any uh, uh, comments or questions for the coach hey, last player? This is a fast, uh, a fast-paced game. We jumped right into the second half. But uh, Anthony, how do you feel about your boys' performance in the first half? I think we're doing a great job. Uh, I love the intensity. I love the energy. And uh, the only hope is uh, we can just keep it up in the second half. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Meanwhile, here's Henry picking up a three-yard gain and a 28-point blowout. <laughs> He's just going <laughs> to... Can't, bl can't blame Lenny for trying to get your best player going, but you might want to move it through the air every now and then when you're down by four touchdowns. Okay, here we go. And off Henry again. He is stacked up at the 25 yard line. Yeah. Don't keep it in. Don't worry about that clock or anything, right? Lenny, you're only down four touchdowns. Let's just let's milk it. Third and four for Tennessee. Live Tannehill, bet. He's had plenty of time to throw, but great coverage so far by Atlanta. Here comes a quick oh, out yeah. round. That pass is broken up incomplete. Fourth down and four for Tennessee. You gonna go for it? Oh, and if I, fake punt. I didn't know that. This, this, this is a fake punt. This, I already know it's a fake punt. Watch this. Tennessee sets up the punt here on fourth down. Wow. 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 Good job, guys. And, and he's not going wow. anywhere. I wasn't wow. looking at the screen. I, I just, I can read you. You're like a book. Uh -huh. That's weird. What do you mean that's weird? You've done that to me 86 times. Mm, I'm pretty sure I've never done it. I did it twice yesterday. Yeah, twice yesterday. We played two games yesterday. Yeah, one in each game. 
Here's a handoff to Freeman, gain of about five. Like is all this out. is an absolute demolition, folks. Ryan out of the gun, second down and six as the Falcons look for touchdown number five. Drops the throw uh -oh. all day, fires it. It is caught by Hooper. He sheds a tackle, then he's brought down at the 16 yard line. It'll be third and one, uh, third and two for Atlanta. Oh boy, we're getting intense over here, huh? Oh, by the way, Ryan under center on a doable third down. Watch the linebackers. Linebacker blitz. And they'll toss it to Freeman. Plenty of room. Oh, he gets cut down at the 14, but still enough for an Atlanta first down. We'll move the chains. By the way, I will say this, Mitchie. I actually preferred that because I just want to milk this clock. This is just, I want to put him out of his misery. This is ugly. And put the fans out of their misery, too. God bless you if you're still tuned in at this point. This game is over, but Hey, stay tuned to see how badly or how bad it gets. Hand off Freeman. Nice play there. Every now and then, Lenny's had some, some good showings on the defensive end, but it's usually followed up by a catastrophic <laughs> miscue. Ryan, empty backfield again. Five receivers. Balls of the 15. He will throw all day. Steps up. He's going to run and slide down to the 10-yard line. And Lenny sliding in after him he's lucky he didn't make contact there with ryan or that could have ended ryan's career dirty in game for that linebacker dirty play by a dirty coach yeah borderline dirty play there from lenny third and seven for paisan and the falcons ryan looking to throw easy, pressure easy, coming easy, fires easy. Over the middle. it's caught about over. that was that, that was Watch that you that's Devontae Freeman's third score of the game. It is 34 to nothing, Falcons. By the way, I baited him. You should see the disrespect. And I knew where his user player was, and I still threw it out. Well, Koo makes the extra point. Good news for Lenny is he did not commit a penalty on that PAT. It's an upgrade from the past couple. Koo will kick off again. Uh -huh. We'll see if he tries to bounce one inside the 10. No, he's not going to return. He doesn't. He's going to go. He's a coward. He doesn't return those. Tennessee will let it go and take over down by 35. So, folks, if you're keeping score at home, you could have doubled the initial spread of 17 and a half, and he'd still be on a good pace right now. This is a run play. No, it's play action. He's changing it right now, isn't he? I'm not looking. First and 10. We'll see if it's play action as Paisan suspects. Yep. Tannehill pats his helmet a couple times. Not sure if he can hear anything. That's an outdoor. That's just an outdoor. Oh, my. And hands it off, and he is smacked <sighs> yeah, right the hole. Yeah, that's been working for you. Tannehill drives. I the tight, the tight. Yeah, oh, I knew it. I that's saw it coming. He is sacked at the 17-yard line. <laughs> that's Crawford that got in there that time. And once again, Tannehill jumped right on in to the sack. Might as well have just gone into the fetal position there. Third and 15, looking to throw all day again. Fires it to the left sideline. That pass is broken up incomplete. He threw it once again into double coverage. We'll see what Tennessee decides to try to draw up here on fourth and 15 on their own 20, down by 35. Deion Lewis into the game. Tannehill looking to throw, slings it deep, and it is incomplete at midfield. Atlanta will take over in the red zone. Yeah, you fucking. Any comments so far? Uh, Ryan, once again, out of the shotgun from the 20, he'll throw, stays in the middle of the pocket, fires over the middle, incomplete, a big hit. Wow. See, it looks like he was looking for Freeman at about the nine-yard line. Good defensive play from Lenny. You'll get one of those every now and then. Ryan from the gun. Freeman still in the game. Looks to throw. Rolls to his right. Oh, shit. Is coming, and he fires. It is complete to Calvin. We were a game about five. <laughs> Anthony Paisan thought that throw was a risk. But good thing Tennessee wasn't ready for it. Couldn't quite get there. Completion. 
That pick six written all over it, Mitchie. Lenny just can't quite make the play he needs. Third and four. Now this is a fucking... Ryan to throw pressure coming again. Fires, it's caught, it's Hooper, and he's going to dive down at the one-yard line. Looked like he was going to waltz into the end zone. Interesting tactic from Anthony Paisan. Thought he was going for the throat. Oh, I wonder if he can you stop me? Ooh, oh, he, a little bit. he hands it off and Lenny fights back. He pops Freeman a couple of times. He ends up falling at the two. Is this the time that Lenny comes up with a goal line stand? Fourth quarter, nothing to play for. Down five touchdowns. How does he respond? Toss to the right. Freeman, he's a defender forward inside the five. He'll only get to the three and Lenny holds up. Really like a Bengals type of tactic. Zach Taylor drew that play up. Throw it 10 yards backwards to your running back on the two-yard line. Third and goal from the three. Wow. Ryan will throw wow. Firing. Wide dude, open. My dude Touchdown. was coming right to you. But of course, he tripped Holy over the freaking lineman. Like, what is that? 41. I nothing. should have had a sack there. I wouldn't be surprised if Paisan went for two. He just trips. He trips over nothing. That's the man is so stupid. Hey, it wouldn't surprise me if Paisan went for two on one of these yeah. touchdowns, just to yeah. rub it a little bit more. Yeah. Two, what's your point is good. Another clean play from the Titans special teams. Good to see from Lenny. 42 to nothing Atlanta. Man, this is just ugly. Here comes Koo with his eighth kickoff of the game. Yeah, don't catch that. Oh, and he's got a return. Up the right sideline to about the 35, left sideline, but up to about the 35 yard line. 36, actually, Mitchie. 36. Beg your pardon. Beg ready your pardon. The, you ready for this pick that's coming? Ball's coming out on this play for this drive. Plenty of time for Tannehill to throw a couple more passes into double or triple coverage. First and 10 for Tennessee. He drops to throw, oh, yeah. oh, fires okay. out to the right side. It is caught for a gain of about 11 and a first down for Tennessee. Or no, is he short? Wait. That was, that was, that was a gain of nine. one. Second and nine. That was a gain oh, of he's one. right oh. at the sticks over there. That's my mm -hmm. fault. I was looking at the sticks. Gain of one. One yard. Off. I was giving you the benefit of the doubt there. That was my fault. Tannehill will throw here on second yeah. and nine. Fires it down oh, the middle, up to right hash. That's caught for a first down for Tennessee by Corey Davis there in Atlanta territory for the first time in a long time. Same play? And he will throw again. Maybe the same play. <laughs> Tipped it yep, into okay. a second uh -huh. yep, uh -huh. by the Atlanta Falcons. And they are at the 14-yard line. They have it back. Unbelievable. Ill-advised throw the, from Tannehill. This game I have ever – That ball played. was batted yeah, and then a diving it. interception off of the deflection from the Atlanta defense. Oh, that never happened. That never happens, dude. The Falcons have no yards to go. Ryan, completion. It's Julio Jones. He stops on the sideline after picking up 11. Oh, man. This is fun. Do you like that? Anna has a long ball to go. <laughs> oh, baby. The Falcons don't look like they plan on running the ball anytime soon. Ryan running for his life now and firing it incomplete. He was looking for Julio Jones on the left sideline. Yeah. And I got to tell you, every one of those off the back foot throws from Tannehill here this afternoon seems to result in an interception. Ryan has either completed them or barely had them broken up. <laughs> Two completely different football teams we're seeing here this afternoon. Ryan under center, he'll throw again. Firing it to a wide open Austin Hooper to the 45, the first down and more. Mike Vrabel and Lenny Jets cannot seem to stop the bleeding. You pick a play there, pal? No, this game is dumb. And we just back. No. Good news for our degenerate live betters out there. If you did take 64 and a half mid game, it looked like it could happen but Atlanta slowed down at least marginally. Here's a deep throw looking for Julio Jones and a leaping catch Dude, I... right at the two-minute warning as he falls to the ground. Another big game for Atlanta. I cannot wait to look at the stat line of everything from this game. They're in the red zone again. Balls at the 15.
Ryan under center. Will they run here finally with a 42 point lead? No, they'll throw again. Ryan sets up, looks, rolls left. Nobody's home. He's going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown. One of the slower quarterbacks in the history of this beautiful league waltzed in for about 15 yards out. It's 48 to nothing, Atlanta. Koo sets up for another. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Wow! I'm gonna read you that extra point. I didn't like that how that went. I wanted to go down the middle. Oh, off, that was an offsides for uh, Tennessee there. <laughs> Fucking douche! Oh, he blow! Oh, wow! He hey, got that kick is blocked, but there's a flag down. Looks like they're gonna get Rashawn Evans for being right in the face of the holder pre-snap. And an old-fashioned extra point. Koo knocks it in from 20 yards out. It's 49 to nothing. And mercifully, we finally get to the next play, which is another young way Koo kickoff. Surprised Atlanta hasn't tried an onside kick yet. Eh, I'm a classy guy. <laughs> Koo lets this one go. It's going to be... Blazing game, who's had the best game of the entire team for Tennessee. Another nice return. <laughs> uh, what, fellas, we got 146 to go, it looks like. Uh, 148, Mitchie. 148 to go. Tannehill will look to throw. Now he's going to dump it out on a screen, it looks like, to Dion Lewis. He'll pick up about two. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Two yards. That's two yards. Interesting play design from Tennessee, considering Atlanta hasn't blitzed, I don't think, the entire game. They decide to run a screen out to the right. They did fool the D lineman a little bit, but the linebackers stay home. It's second and eight. This, by the way, this is tight end attack, just so you know. Yep, it's tight end attack. <laughs> Tannehill will throw a wide open receiver cutting across the middle of the field and picking up drive. about 15 and a first down. Yeah, that was tight end drive. My, my apologies, Mitchie. Anna Hill, first and 10, all day, steps up to run, and he's going to be hit after, you know, Tannehill, you hate to see it. He had some room, but he bumped into his own right guard on the way, slowed him down a little bit. Defense right. London was able to catch up to him. Now it's second and 11. Tannehill will throw again, yeah. looking over the middle of the field. That pass is incomplete. It somehow got through. It looked like it was going to be interception number five five black jerseys around the ball for the falcon ryan Tannehill is not seeing the field well third and 11 oh go fuck yourself. they will hand it to henry and he only picks up about two and i don't know based off of that call if lenny is going to decide to throw it deep or just go ahead and punt it away you got to think he's worried about Atlanta getting to 50. Doesn't look like he is. He's going to go for it here. Fourth and 10. Handoff to Henry. The Titans. Why does the hell does it line up? Like, what is that? Literally just, oh, let me just go right off the guy. Nope. Nothing. I think that's not really what's in question. What's in question is running it on fourth and. Yeah. Derrick Henry not having a good day, posting maybe his worst yards per carry ever. Ryan will throw deep, looking for Julio Jones, leaping in the end zone, and that pass is incomplete. Crock of shit. Good coverage from Lenny. Trying to keep the Falcons away from getting to that 50-plus mark. It's already embarrassing enough. Ryan looking to throw. Wide open Hooper again. That's been there all day up the left hash to the 21. They're just outside of the red zone. Less than 30 seconds to go. Atlanta keeping their foot on the gas. Ryan looking to throw, rolling to his right, and he'll fire incomplete. Nothing there, but still plenty of time for the Falcons here. <laughs> hey, after getting burned in the Super Bowl from a 28-3 loss, you can never be too sure. That's what Anthony Paisan is thinking right now. Ryan under center, straight drop. Pressure coming. He's going to be sacked back at the 30-yard line. 
you got me. That's Landry. Nice play from L Jets. Gonna be a third down. Oh, that ran the clock out. That's it. Yeah. That is the end. So Lenny Jets does hold <laughs> the Atlanta Falcons under 50 points. So a good defensive stand there at the end, although if he was kind of saved by the clock. Ryan, 230 yards, three touchdowns. Can't wait to see Devontae Freeman's stat line. A 49 to nothing burial of the L Jets led Tennessee Titans. Wow. What a game, ladies and gentlemen. The over hit, it was 45 and a half. The initial over, the over barely hit. 49 to nothing. Atlanta doesn't on their own. <laughs> 69 passing yards, 30 rushing yards, three yards per play for that putrid Tennessee offense to go along with four interceptions. Tannehill's hot. He's angry. Tannehill is upset. This was brought to you by EA Sports, friend of the show. Friend of the show. Actually, no, fuck EA Sports. They're scumbags. <clears throat> well, well, hell of a game. I got to, I got to ask, I, you know, hey, coach, we're in the locker room. You know, this is just part of the profession. I don't want to have to ask it, but I do. Lenny, you, you can't like what you saw from your football team. How do you guys regroup? How do you, you, you know, how do you take a loss like this? Yeah. Our team just got to, we just got to wake up. I think they, I think a couple of people napped a little bit too long today and uh, they just got to wake up. Oh, you mean literally some of your players nap too long? Yes. Or, or just figuratively? Okay. Okay. Cool. Got it. What do you do about Ryan Tannehill, 82 yards and four interceptions? How, what do you say to a guy like that? Obviously, he's a seasoned veteran. He's played in big games. He's had great games. He's looked like potentially a borderline top-tier quarterback. Uh-oh. 38 completion percentage, no touchdowns, four picks. They look the stats, but Oh, he left. He left. Oh, wow. Just straight up left. Wow. And that's what you get from Lenny. Anthony, uh, final words here. Final words? Um, I just wish my opponent had a little bit more grace, a little bit more class. Um, if I had taken a drubbing like that, I, uh, I probably wouldn't be too happy either. Oh, he's back. He's back. Yeah, uh, Mitch, wait, to, to answer your question. Who, wait, who's Brian? I don't know who Brian Hudson is, by the way. Oh, wait, you're uh, Brian. You're uh, one of Lenny's buddies from the. Yeah, you guys are. What's your situation there? Uh, yeah, uh, Lenny was telling me that, uh, to tell, to, to answer your, uh, Mitchie's question, um, about Tannehill, just, uh, you can't get much lower than that. You might've hit rock bottom and, uh, you can only go up from here. So. Yeah. I think the only, I think the only quarterback that has posted lesser statistics was Nathan Peterman. Maybe, maybe he did. He's the goat. He is the goat. I like it. any extra commentary at all, uh, Brian from Lenny. Uh, yeah, I know Lenny does want a rematch because that's crock of shit. Crock of shit. All right. Well, and that does not represent. I know Mitchie's got to go to bed, so we probably don't want to have. Yeah. We can't have him record another one unless he wants yeah. to. But I know he hey, probably want to. Uh, hey, uh, Brian, can you hit stop on the recording for Lenny? Yeah, great game, though. Let Lenny know. Great game. Hey, yeah, tell him great game. We'll get him next time. Yeah, we'll get him. We'll get him.